Well, hello, everybody. I just wanted to talk to you about gardens right now. I know this is July, July 25th. It's the hottest time of our summer. We've had an extremely hot, dry summer this year. So forth that my garden is really suffering. I know there's a lot of other people out there that your gardens are suffering as well. But I wanted to get on here and let you know there's still hope. You can still plant. Uh, this heat and dry spell is not going to last forever. Um, as far as your squash, uh, like your zucchini, your, your winter squash, yellow squash, that type of thing, you can all, always replant right now. Zucchini. That's what this is, zucchini seeds. I got my patty pan squash, or summer squash as they call it. I'm replanting all of this. You can plant beans, you can plant kale, um, a lot of your brassicas you can plant right now because by the time they come up, there's bound to be a break in this heat wave and they should survive. But as far as your squash, those vine uh, borer bugs, worms, or whatever they call them, your squash bugs, they're gone. Uh, basically, they lived long enough to destroy the first crop that we had, but those bugs are gone now. So I feel sure if you replant your squash, your zucchini, your winter squash, all of that, that it should come up and thrive this time of year. Uh, our water blank restriction is going to end the 31st of this month, which is this coming Monday. So I'll be able to water my plants and keep them watered uh, a lot more than I have so throughout the summer so far. So I wanted to get on here and tell you, don't give up. You can still plant. You're not going to have to worry about these squash borer bugs, worms, or any of the squash bugs. So, you know, you can plant. Don't give up. Plant your peas. Plant your foot-long beans. Plant your zucchini. Plant your squash. Uh, I'm going to try more of the striped uh, fin squash. Shark fin squash. Those are the ones that we're trying to produce so well, but either the heat or the squash bugs got to the vines and just destroyed my vines. So I'm not giving up. I've still got seed. I'm replanting. And I'm, I've already replanted some of the squash and zucchini. I'm going to go ahead this afternoon when it cools off a little bit. I'm going to get out there and I'm going to plant more. Uh, especially my shark fin squash and uh, some of this other stuff. And like this, my uh, winter squash. I'm going to plant more of that. Most of my tomatoes, my okra, and all of that stuff has survived this heat. And they'll start producing again. Uh, like you saw the basil that I planted in the uh, green stalk tower. That's growing and it's, it's, it's surviving. But I've been able to keep a little bit more water or compost tea to that tower than I have been out in the other parts of the garden. Uh, so it's you know growing a lot better. So the water is the key and when you, you don't have access to water readily to be able to use in your garden Naturally, your garden is going to suffer when it's 103, 104 degrees outside. And it's been like that every single day here. And it will be for at least another week or more. Uh, the extended forecast that I've seen, it's going to be 103, 104, 105 degrees every day with no chance of rain. But like I said, there's got to be a break in this weather. It can't last forever. I mean, we've got to end up getting some rain. We're going to have some of our vegetables thriving, I'm sure. But I feel sure if you go ahead and plant your squash, you know, your winter squash, your yellow squash, your uh, zucchini, now, and you keep it watered. Don't, don't water it in the heat of the day. Wait till either 
I prefer to wa water mine in the late evening so it's cool down at night. The plants have a chance to revive and drink up that moisture all night long before that heat wave hits for the next day. I don't like watering in the early morning because I feel like you put enough water on the plants, when that sun hits it, it's just going to boil the plants. So I prefer to work water at night. I'm out there at one, one, one o'clock. In fact, 3 a.m. the other morning, I was out there just finishing watering my garden with my compost tea at 3 o'clock in the morning. But it was cooler then. You can get out there and actually get some work done without dying from the heat. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get on here real quick and just tell you, don't give up. There's things you can plant right now. Uh, I mean, this is July. We still got August, September, October, and usually our first freeze or frost date is not till like the end of October, sometime in November for my area. So my plants are gonna have plenty time to grow, mature, and produce fruit before I get my first frost or first freeze. So you need to check your frost dates, see the length of time you're gonna have to plant now until that frost date and check the seed packets to see how long it takes that plant to mature and produce and you'll find you have a lot of things you can plant right now and really a, a lot of growing experts recommend that you plant your squash in July or the first of August because the squash borer bugs are gone by then and you don't have to worry about them eating your plants alive so that's what I'm counting on in replanting my seeds now. And I'm sure if you check, like I said, if you check a lot of other seed packets, check online or check wherever you can, see what the, the uh, germination uh, time is, but, you know, between the time it's planted and it germinates and it produces fruit, you're gonna find you have several options when it comes to replanting a garden right now, even though it's midsummer, basically. I mean, we're midway through the heat season, so it's bound to start breaking. Like I said, my water restrictions are gonna end Monday, so I'll be able to get out there and water all I want and hope that most of my stuff has survived. I'm really afraid I'm gonna lose a couple of those uh, rose bushes that are planted on the property line, the ones that were planted later. The ones that I first planted a couple of years ago, I think they're going to survive and hopefully start growing. Uh, the last couple that I planted on the property line are looking kind of tattered. Uh, I don't know about them. They're still kind of iffy. But if this weather breaks pretty soon and we get some rain, I think they'll survive. I mean, those knockout roses are some tough bushes, even if they're little plants. And I think I got them in the ground in time that they put down enough roots that I'm hoping they're going to survive. If not, I'll just root some more and replant. Um, I'll root them over the winter months, let them grow and keep them watered through the summer months, and then I'll wait till about the fall of the year, and that's when I'll replant. That way they'll have all winter long to put down roots, to establish themselves where I plant them, and be prepared for the summer heat that hits that next summer. So that's my intentions right now. So don't give up. You know, I'm, I'm just one that I, I don't want to give up. I'm not going to give up. Sometimes it's almost like beating your head against a brick wall, but I'll tell you, sometimes it pays off. And I may even try sowing some of my um, cantaloupe my sweet summer cantaloupe. They were the ones that did so well last year. And I don't see any place on this packet. Days until harvest is 90 days. So we, <coughs> I've got August, September, and October. So I may be able to harvest some cantaloupes off of this. So, you know, I don't have to plant the whole packet. I can drop a couple of seeds and see what happens. So, we'll see.
And like I said, you know, I'm going to replant. I've still got basil. I've still got tomato plants out there I need to do something with. And I'm not sure what because it takes the longest for the tomato plants. But I've got the plants already that came up from seedlings. So I've got to do something with them. They can't all stay in that one pot. So I'm going to spread them around the garden and just see what happens. If I possibly get green tomatoes out of them, that's great. Because uh, at the end of the season, the growing season, I always pick my green tomatoes, and that's what I make my chow chow from. So it's not going to be a waste, even if I don't get anything but green tomatoes. Usually at the end of the summer, when it starts cooling off, the tomato plants that are already established will start putting out more tomatoes. Sometimes I get a few ripened tomatoes before cold season. A lot of times the, the plants will be just full of green tomatoes by the time we have our first frost date. So, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. So I'll just go ahead and pick all my green tomatoes. I bring them in and I make chow chow. So that'll give me a crop of chow chow for the next winter. So it's not going to be a waste. Don't ever think planting your garden is going to be a waste. There's always something you can do with what you produce in your garden. Whether it's green tomatoes, uh, hot peppers, bell peppers, whatever. You can always find something to do with it. So I wanted to get on here and, and just tell you that. Don't give up. I know it's hard. We've had a, a long, struggling, hot, dry summer. It's a lot drier and a lot hotter than usual and nobody could have predicted this was going to happen so it's nobody's fault just do the best you can keep your plants alive if possible because when it starts cooling off they'll start producing for you again my okra is still producing out there slowly but it is still producing as long as i keep water to it um, you know stuff like your tomatoes your cucumbers stuff like that they'll stop temporarily because of this hot weather but as soon as it cools off a little bit they'll start producing again so my words of encouragement to you is just don't give up I mean don't give up it'll pay off believe you me it will pay off so that's all I had for you this time so happy planting everybody go ahead and replant your squash zucchini uh, Cucumbers, even if you have them, your, your peas, some of your cantaloupe, winter squash. Vine borers are gone. We don't have to worry about those anymore. So we should get a, a good crop of uh, squash from now on to the end of summer. So with that, please like, share, and subscribe to my videos. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and y'all have a blessed day. Bye now.